16, Iowa State at number 15, Texas. Both teams with three losses. Um, Iowa State's got four, uh, future Browns head coach. And right? potentially a future Browns wide receiver in, in Hakeem Butler. Hey, oh. I don't know if you've seen this guy. He's 6'6 for the Cyclones. And uh, just a definite bright spot in that offense. But, yeah, and Matt Campbell. You know who coaches Hakeem Butler? Matt Campbell does. Former uh, tight ends coach for Ohio Northern, Brian Gasser. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he is the wide receivers coach for Iowa State. Very nice. Very nice. But, yes, Matt Campbell uh, has really just turned this team around. It made Iowa State a contender again. They are number 16, and – it's it's the most that they've won in recent memory for anybody after Campbell took over in 2016. Sure. A win over Texas on Saturday would put Iowa State in position to play in the Big 12 championship game if Oklahoma beats West Virginia uh, next weekend. So lots of ifs there. That would huh? be interesting, though, because yeah. uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, Oklahoma, West Virginia will play in back-to-back weeks. Um, that's the most likely scenario there. That's the only way that the Big 12 could get a team in is if whoever wins the first matchup also wins the second matchup. It's the only way Big 12 could get in the playoff, uh, which I still agree. I always say it's not getting in the playoff. They have three losses. It's just not going to happen. But yeah. that'd be interesting if they go on uh, to the Big 12 championship game. I I would go as far to say I think Iowa State is the best 6-3 and three team in NCAA football right now. I, I agree with you. I think we're both uh, leaning toward Iowa State winning this game. I don't think Texas is as good as advertised, and I think uh, a little bit of distraction with Tom Herman this week, even though it was a slight one, yeah. only kind of one day, but a little bit of distraction there, and um, Tom Herman is too worried about his strip club meetings uh, and loses this one to the Cyclones. I mean, he's not the only one that's done strip club meetings. Move your body like There's a so many stories about that, but anyway... Um, one, one other thing to know about the Cyclones, Brock Purdy, the freshman. I think Purdy and Campbell are kind of the next Mayfield and, and Riley, like in terms of a quarterback and coaching duo. Bro. Uh, so that's that's kind of – Bromance, quarterback coaching bromance. Yeah, you could say that. So they're, they're a good pair, and I think Iowa State hands uh, Texas a, a pretty hefty loss, and that will be 8 p.m. on Saturday. So. On the Longhorn Network. Ugh. That's what you get for hoarding your games. <laughs> Texas loss. 